All right then, let's see if I remember how to do this, shall we? You, if you meow the whole time, we're gonna fall out. Okay then, I'm back. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since uh, the last Rock Hopper video. Um, me and my wife had a baby. A um, little bit earlier than we expected, but everybody's healthy, everybody's happy, so we're all good. The second thing I want to talk about is um, copper compound. Co copper, copper compound. A lot of you are a little bit upset about the way I was using it in the last video. Um, now that I thought about it, you're all right. And um, a few of us had a few conversations about this. But this is the stuff. Uh, I've been using this for a very long time now, and um, I love it. It's really, really good. I've got a massive thing of it, and I've gone through quite a lot of it. Um, it's really good. It's anti-seize, so it's you know designed for bolts and cranks and whatever else you want to, might want to put on your bank, uh, on your bike. But uh, bearings in the headset, I now realise, yeah, that's probably not quite the best thing to do. I think someone actually commented somewhere saying about the fact that. Um, uh, essentially, it's going to just slowly just shear the the bolts off. I don't think that's quite right, um, but it's probably just going to like it's going to ruin the bearings. I'm okay about that in this circumstance. Um, the headset itself uh, had quite a lot of pitting in it, um, and it's a bit knackered. But I wanted to save some money, so I kind of just left that headset on there for now. Um, it still has copper compound in there at the moment. Maybe actually let's use this as a bit of an experiment and see how much damage it does cause. Um, I don't think I've used it in another headset before. I usually do use other stuff, but for this time I did use that. And um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh, grease on my hands now. Uh, and then the last thing before I just stop talking to you and we move on with the actual bike itself is um, these. We'll talk about these more in a bit, actually. Let's uh, let's get back to the rock hopper. You deserve it. All right then, let's do this, shall we? As it was a threaded stem, I used one of these adapters. I've used these a few times now, and I'm a big fan. They obviously open you up to a lot more options with stems, and you can kind of put some more modern stuff on it. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I didn't actually use this stem in the end, I changed it, uh, but we'll talk about that more later on. Um, but uh, I got this on Amazon, it's quite a nice stem. I've used a couple of these now, uh, but it's super cheap. I wanted to change the bolts as well. I mean, this bit's kind of uh, irrelevant really, isn't it, in the end, because uh, I just take it off. I was really struggling with handlebars for the whole time in this build. Um, these on one bars, they're called Jeffs. Uh, they're really cool, I really like them, focus. And uh, they're really comfortable. Uh, I put them on there obviously at this stage, um, but I do go for a couple of handlebars, but again, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. I'm a big fan of colour matching bolts, but bolts can be kind of expensive when there's a lot of holes. Uh, these are disc rotor bolts, you can pick them up pretty cheap, and normally there's quite a lot in the packet, so they work quite well. For the chain ring, I decided to use one of these work, Works Components ones. Um, they're about 25, 30 pounds, so they're pretty cheap, but they're pretty decent. Um, also, check out my uh, my shorts, they're up a print, huh? Anyway, um, also I found this kind of like bash guard that uh, I wasn't sure if I'd like it. I still haven't decided. Uh, so as the build goes on, tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but I, yeah, I build it up anyway to see what it looks like. I mean, I don't hate it, but I'm not sure on the bash guards. So yeah, let me know below. The chain ring looks cool, but the bash guard is questionable, I think the best way to describe it. But I put it on anyway, because, uh, well, I still wasn't sure. I'm still not sure. For someone who wears pretty much black and only black, this is a hell of an outfit I decided to wear and um, film myself and put it on the internet. So yeah, that's there's that. I'm going for a modern derailleur on this one. It's a 1x9 that I'm doing, it's SRAM. I'm a big fan of SRAM's kind of entry level stuff, their cheaper end stuff. I think this is like 20, 30 quid, maybe 40 at max, but it's really good for the money. Um, so yeah, that's what I went for on this build.
So not only did I change my mind several times about handlebars, but the tires as well. As you can see from this clip right now, like the knobblies, it looks dope. It really does. But at this point when I was making this bike, it wasn't for trail riding in, in the woods, it was for the city. I live in London, that's where I was going to ride it mainly. So I put these booze lights from Vittoria on it and oh my god, they look good. I was super happy with them. Like currently, I'm obsessed with this bike. It, it looks really, really good. I think the cream of the tyres kind of went really well with the, the purple or pink frame. Um, and I really liked them. But at this point in the build, I kind of had a bit of a dilemma. I wasn't sure on the tyres, I wasn't sure on the crank even, but I definitely wasn't sure on the handlebars and I was about to give up. Well, I've gone through all my bars. I can't seem to find any flat ones that like I'm really happy with. Um, I put it on Instagram as well to see uh, if you guys had any ideas and there was some pretty good ones and some not as good ones. But uh, yeah, I might just give up now, I think. What about those? So this is my jump bike that I built quite some time ago now. Um, I've ridden it twice this year and that's it. It's got these really nice bars on it, um, so I figured I should put them on something that I'm going to use a little bit more regular instead of sitting on this. So that's the decision. It's hard to show you exactly how well the paint came out, um, but this clip here you can see quite how shiny it became and um, some of the metallicness in it. Um, there's obviously still quite a lot of that rust and patina that's underneath the paint still and like there, but I think it still looks sick. Um, pretty happy with it. It was a lot of work, but it's good. All right then, let's uh, well, let's get these tires and stick them back on here. These ones on here. I do have a plan for these boost lights, just so you know if you're wondering. But uh, let's get these wheels back on the bike, shall we? Like that. The mystic arts of editing. Okay, now let's edit these bars. It's not very often I actually film myself for removing something that I've put on within the same video, but um, that's where we are today. So that's coming off. That was my cat running past, if you could hear that then. <laughs> Uh, so that's the bars itself. I'm going to put them on. Um, you probably spotted a spacer a minute ago. That was too big, so I needed some a bit smaller. But uh, I wanted to put on there anyway because I had to order some spacers. Uh, but look, it just looks perfect. I love it. I don't know how they fill yet, so we'll see. But, um, but yeah, the next thing I need to do is fill that gap some spacers. But I want some gold ones, so I'm going to order them. So we'll get to that in a minute. Saddle. Um, obviously it's a charged spoon. I did buy a new one. I found this, this was on sale somewhere. I think it was like £12, which is pretty good for one of these. And uh, I could not buy it. I didn't know what it was going to go on at the time, but as soon as I got to this point, I felt like it was the right saddle. It's not too bright, but it's also not just boring. So yeah, I think it looks good. So I found these spaces on Amazon. They're like, I wanted like a one size or just like one spacer because the way that the adapter works it kind of uh, goes in the big bottom so that bottom spacer isn't very sturdy so essentially i have to just push it down really hard and then tighten it and for now it seems fine i mean it looks good uh oh chain that's what we're doing now apparently uh, i always soak my chain in some sort of grease remover uh it's kind of like the factory stuff or sort of gooing crap uh so that's a nice clean chain now See if I can put this chain on without flinging parts of it across the garden like I usually do. Brakes, uh, I'm going V brakes, uh, these Shimano ones with Avid uh, levers. I know it's Shimano and SRAM essentially, isn't it? But like, I've used these on this combination on a different bike and it works really well. Let me know if you want to see a kind of more in depth brake setup video. Um, v brakes are pretty easy to do, but like, until I knew how to do it properly, they were always crap. Hey, I want to tell you something. I've been wearing this t-shirt 
for a long time on my Instagram and on here and uh, save old bikes uh, and I get questions all the time about is it going to be up for sale um, it finally is I have started a merch store um, so this t-shirt this t-shirt are called tote second life bikes um, there's some cool things there's a couple other things um, years and years ago uh, I designed clothing and released t-shirts so I've been itching to do it again and that's where we are um, that's all I'm gonna say right now it's all linked here and below in the in the, in the description and um, if you want to kind of check out a t-shirt it's gonna obviously really help me out and help me make this video so um, feel free to check it out now let's go back to that guy and probably he's going to talk to him about cables or something. I don't know, cables. Maybe I could do one on cabling as well. Uh, I think cabling, some people say it's like an art. Um, I think it's something you just do trial and error. It's so different every bike. Obviously you can probably find the right lengths for the manufacturer. But if you're doing what I'm doing right now and putting different bars on it, stems and stuff, obviously that all changes anyway. So it's kind of something you need to do by feel. Um, and a lot of it is trial and error. So cutting it slightly longer than you think it needs to be is always the best way to go. And then kind of going from there. Also, another quick tip uh, is th these little like pokey things. Get something like this because you use it all the time. But the cabling inside is a plastic kind of shim. Shim? It's a plastic bit inside. Make sure the opening on both ends is still nice and smooth, otherwise it's gonna mess it up. But this was too long. Uh, I didn't actually have the footage of me cutting it down again. Uh, but yeah. Maybe I shouldn't do a video on a uh, cabling because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Just kind of just doing it. Grips, I'm gonna be using these Def Grips by DMR. Uh, I really like these. These are the fat, soft ones, um, so they're quite nice. Also this Galaxy finish, which is kind of like glitter. I thought it was quite cool. And then these, this is the main reason I really love these grips, is the interchangeable collars. I got some gold ones to match the rest of the bike, but also the packaging is all like cardboard and stuff and really recyclable, so good work DMR, I'm impressed. How good does that look? So yeah, I'm super happy with the grips. <laughs> At some point the camera fell over, I'm not really sure when. Uh, so this is just the back of my head whilst I'm doing the brakes and the uh, gearing, just tune them up, making sure we're all nice. But uh, that's, that's it, that's the bike finished. We should probably go and, um, well I should look at it really. I mean, if I'm honest, I'm always happy with the way my bikes come out, but this one is a little bit special. I've always fancied a rock hopper, um, the color's really good, and the way I've built it is just exactly how I imagined it would be. Um, that doesn't always happen. But uh, it also rides amazing, and I wanted to share some of the footage with you as well. You guys always ask for ride footage, so let's go riding.
And that's that. That's the end of another video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like. Um, maybe even comment below. Give me some ideas for another project. Uh, on that note, I have several bikes on the on the go. To be honest, it's a great time to subscribe because I've always got a bike lined up. Um, I currently have this one. This is a Titanium uh, Rally M Trax uh, that uh, I'm going to be basically going to be my new commuter. So that's going to be the next build. Um, I've also got some ride videos coming up, um, and yeah, there's always something going on. But if you can't wait for the next video, um, check out this video here. This is a this is a good one. Oh, and subscribe. I think that's everything. <laughs>